Omu's good. I've been meaning to check the stats on Omu. Like how Omu's good. When people are hero powering. Omu's the fourth best hero right now. <clears throat> Looks like always leveling on two. Uh, that's good. Percent of first place players at each tavern tier each turn. Uh, win rate. Best build is dragons. Dragons are in play. Streak up to six and find it some Caligos. Like most players leveled on two. It'd be cool if it could put like token start in there as well. Because like it matters, you know. Then you can do this. Which you cannot do on any other turn with any other hero, pretty much. There's no other situation where you can level on turn two and then buy a minion. Can't do that with anybody else. Oh, I think that's why Omu is so powerful. Because then next turn I sell off our Tabby Cat and we buy two more units. It's just really good. Thank you guys for joining us this morning, though. Appreciate it. I'm a bit a, a bit out of sorts and a bit tired. Super glad that you guys decided to join us today. Well, I want this. I do. I promise. I'm not ec ecstatic about the Glyph Guardian, but I love to. Thank you so much. Rick. Appreciate it. So this is turn three. It says I'm supposed to level next. Interesting. And I'm supposed to be on 6 by turn 10. I'm supposed to level on turn 6 and on turn 7. It's fascinating. I'm just going to follow it and see what happens. I really don't know the best leveling here, so I'm just going to follow what the chart says. All right, dude, it says I'm supposed to level here. We level. We're only able to buy one unit, but now we're on Tavern 3. And like, this is, a, this is the aggressive way to play in general. Going to Tavern 3 on 6 gold is actually a real strategy. As, uh, actually swap that. It's actually a real strategy in the actual game. Like, it's an aggressive way to play. If you have a really bad tavern, there's not two minions that you want to buy, you would just level, and then you just take the loss. I was gonna say, don't hit that. Okay, wait. Hold on, we're scamming. Well, we're not scamming. Or 25%. 25% feels like a scam. I don't know. Feels pretty scammy. These are bad. I'm gonna buy this because we can just sell it. Yeah. 
do this. Okay. I had a 25% to win the lottery. I'll take those odds in. That's true. That's true. I stick around to watch games that are high. But like, it seems like if there's ever like a 30% chance for you to take lethal, it looks more like a 100% chance most of the time. I don't know. Probably just <clears throat> totally opinion based, but. All right, let's hit the spawn on Azoth. Also, I'm supposed to level. I'm going to do because we still haven't taken any damage. I would like a second macaw. Uh, I sold the... We should have put the two on first, actually. Too much variance. I sold it because I don't want it to get triggered by the macaw. Because then it would just do nothing. And then what's the point of having the macaw? I want the macaw to guaranteed trigger the spawn or the shredder. Then next turn we pick up a second Macaw, and maybe the Deflecto Bot, and then we get rid of the Pilot of Treader. Ripple Macaw triggers a single minion's death rattle two times, yes. Triple Macaw triggers one unit's death rattle two times. So I want to do this. I think I want to do this. Oh, okay. I was supposed to wait until next turn to do this, by the way. I'm okay with it, though. We have another pair. Alright, so that was actually a misplay. Because you're supposed to wait until... Until you're on Tavern 5, and again, according to the charts, it's turn 7, I was supposed to just level... Uh, but we did get a Baron out of it. As long as we attack first, this should be fine. We might lose, but it won't be by a lot. And then I just level next turn. And then we just uh, try to get the triple then. Or I might not level. No, we should level. We should be on five. As long as we win this fight. We're attacking first. We're 61% to win. The Macaw got lazarus Hey.
If you have Dancing Daryl and you get Alley Cat on second round, would you skip leveling up? Uh, no. I wouldn't even freeze for it, probably. Yeah, if I was playing Dancing Daryl, and on turn 2 I would still level. I don't even think I'd freeze for an alley cat. It's valuable on the road, but... Alright, he takes a ton of damage. Well, we almost have what we need here. The only major problem is if this dies first, then we lose. Morning, OG. Welcome in, sir. And we just need to keep attacking first. Or second with good RNG like that. No! Oh, wait, they both live. Never mind. Good luck for Saturday. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. It'll be interesting for sure. Didn't get it. Host and dash at work. Host and dash at work. Have an amazing stream. Thanks, Propane Scumbag. Appreciate it.
forgot to do my my morning. Yes, there is. Uh, the details are on my Twitter. It's a big ten thousand dollar tournament. Details are on my Twitter. It's not funny, Rogue Spartan. I feel bad. I have a morning routine that we are both used to, and when I mess it up, I, I feel terrible. No, the $10,000 joke? Oh, that wasn't a joke. Competing in a $10,000 tournament this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, something like 400 plus people competing, but that, w that wasn't a joke. <laughs> that, w that was real. That was an actual thing that's happening. Win and be your sugar daddy. Uh, if I win, then I yes, <laughs> it's it'll be something. I don't know. I have to win just to qualify to win. So goes off twice but it'll get plus eight plus eight bringing it up to a 14 14 before any other buffs not the time can't do it yet three goldens no goldron feels kind of bad if it gets plants, then I have to sell it. So, you got it, sir. Yeah, it should be interesting. I have to play out of my mind just to even think about qualifying for the final round of the entry round. I think you need to get 15 points over four... over uh, three rounds of two games to get into the final... And then only the top two people from the final two games. The top two point earners the entire tournament uh, get into the final. Which is like a week from then. I think it's October 10th or something. Yo, what's up, Century? Yes, yeah, so you have to like average like second place the whole tournament pretty much so it's gonna be very variance based uh there are four opportunities to do it though there's four open qualifiers and there was no limit on how many you could participate in so i'm in all four so Well, now's as good a time as any. Goldron? Come on. Really? Oh shit, oh, I needed to freeze there. Damn it. 
I like I came in and watched Baron kill a minion. Yeah, Baron's pretty thick right now. Now it's Golden Baron. These having 20 health is bad for us. Oh, that's why it's a 92% tie. Uh, we just need ever so slightly more attack, which would be a Goldrin. So. We're just barely in a top 4, though. Uh, we're going to push to 6 because we can. No! God damn it! Get out of here. Can't have death rattle. It's the only thing. <clears throat> you had one job. Don't get death rattle. One stupid job. Also, where on earth is a gold trinet? No one else is playing beasts. Baron doesn't die. Oh my gosh. Goldrin gets to attack again. Oh, this game turned into shenanigans. Goldrin would make this build so much better. Like, instantly a first place. But we can't find it. Not gonna triple that, it's bait. Yes. Well, this is about as strong as this build can get.
can triple the Goldrin. You know what? You're right. You're right, Noam. I can triple the Goldrin, and after I triple the Goldrin, I can give the other Amalgadon poisonous. The professor at work, apparently. Sometimes things work out. Oh, he lost to the ghost. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. Seems fine. Sucks to suck, yeah. Uh, well, okay. Uh, 